Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Kendall, and if you're new here, hello, my name is Kendall. Not wasting any time, I will warn you that this video does get sad at some points as I will be speaking about death. If this topic makes you uncomfortable or you're sensitive to it or generally just prefer not to hear about it, that is completely understandable. And I will list a timestamp somewhere up here where it tells you where the stories begin and when they end. I will also not be showing any clips or videos of the actions that will be taking place in today's topic. So without any further introduction, let's begin. Internet challenges have been around since the internet has existed, with one of the earliest and most popular being the Ice Bucket Challenge. This challenge had a good meaning behind it as it was used to raise money for the ASL community, and it wasn't inherently harmful to anybody. I even did the Ice Bucket Challenge, and it was cold, but it was not crazy. Harmless and fun internet challenges used to be the goal, but now sinister, emotionally scarring, and deadly challenges have arisen. The challenge I will be speaking about today is called Chroming and it was popularized on TikTok. It is physically harmful and deadly. It was initially started all the way back in 2006 where it was popularized in Australia but has since in recent years found its way onto public platforms. Like I said before, it went very popular on TikTok, but oftentimes it even go under different names. So it was able to reach a wide variety of audiences and even go undetected at times. The video went somewhat viral on TikTok as people would record themselves doing the challenge or the after effects of the challenge, and these videos would garnish up to millions of views. It seemed fun and without much attention, for some seemed worth the risk to be included. The act consists of inhaling a large amount of toxic fumes from things like spray paint, paint thinner, glue, detergent, and really anything that is strong and potent. Despite the clear warning labels, many participants would ignore it in hopes of gaining a temporary and quick high from the fumes. Though not efficient, it often appealed to younger crowds such as early 20s and teens, sometimes even pre-teens, which makes the challenge even that much worse. The negative effects of inhaling these fumes include dizziness, slurred speech, nausea, vomiting, hallucinations, and so on. This risk is for general exposure, such as people that are painters, nail techs, and even hairstylists. Chroming, on the other hand, is way more extreme, as this is a purposeful, prolonged, and potent explosion. The effects of this include things like permanent brain, liver, and kidney damage, along with asphyxiation, cardiac issues, and I'm going to put the word up here because I have no idea how to say it. If this challenge doesn't sound bad enough, it has proven fatal on many cases. This is the point where I will be speaking about a story where a young man passed away from chroming, so if you do not want to watch it, go ahead and feel free to skip ahead. This is the story of Tommy Lee. He attended a sleepover at his friend's house, and everything was going pretty normal and as per usual until later that night. The two boys decided to try the viral TikTok chroming challenge. They began inhaling a large amount of toxic fumes, and almost immediately after, Tommy Lee went into cardiac arrest. He passed away almost immediately after at his friend's house. The ambulance were called and he was rushed to the hospital and medical staff did everything they could to bring him back to life, but it just didn't work. He was only 11 years old. His family wants him to be remembered as the bright, energetic boy with a heart of gold that he had. His family also wants his story to be used as a warning to others. Though I'm not completely sure what chemical was used, spray paint is often the commonly used one. But don't make any mistake that chemicals that are generally less harmful to your health mean that it's less harmful in chroming. There have been many cases where people have passed away from using common household items such as deodorant, spray deodorant, and this really is a risk to anybody of any age as there was a man in his early 20s who passed away from the spray deodorant and at the same time an 8th grade girl passed away from the same thing. Unfortunately, through my research and from what I've run across, this challenge is the challenge that carries the most fatalities. And oftentimes those affected are teens. 
people who have so much life to live and so much more experiences to experience and it's happening all across the world. This trend has been removed from TikTok, just like the last challenge that I spoke about. When you try to search up the name, there is a warning screen that pops up along with a link that attempts to educate the user. Not allowing people to search for this challenge anymore is definitely helpful, but it is also late. The videos of people trying this challenge and encouraging this challenge was already shown to millions before the problem was addressed. Understanding the dangers of challenges like this is extremely important because at the end of the day, social media is not safe. Having peer pressure to indulge in harmful activities is nothing new. And now with the internet, these actions are just made more mainstream and more acceptable. If you know someone who might be practicing this challenge or doing it during parties, whatnot, please warn them. Take care of yourself and take care of others. Take some time off of social media today. Take a walk, drink some water, because we both know you haven't drank enough. It was lovely seeing you in today's video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. And remember, don't try everything you see online. Bye!